he went from Thursday until Sunday, drove around, and he put five he put five offers into five storage facilities. So he went and drove around, and he had one storage facility that was in Florida, kind of like right on the Panhandle, that he, somehow he found and contacted, and they wanted the sale, so we put an offer in. That was the first one, and he put an offer in for six hundred six hundred thousand dollars. So the owner's taking that contract and getting his attorney to look over the contract. And then uh, now, so that's already one that we already have uh, under almost under contract, right? They want to sell it. We offered six hundred thousand dollars, and um, and then he's got like two in the St. Mary's area that we're working on right now, and uh, and then two others that were kind of like inland, uh, like inland of Georgia, like south. And we already have like all of our facilities are in that area. And so he already like in the first week, just driving for storage full time now driving for storage. And then he stopped at, he stopped at a couple of our facilities and like blew the leaves and like, you know, picked up trash and stuff like this. And then he like hung out at the beach for the whole time. Isn't that sound awesome for him? He's like so happy. And, um, so we're also very happy too, right? Because we have somebody that's on our team that essentially is doing what me and Pete were doing. Right? So we're like, up until now, we've been like super hands-on up until last year. We were in the business. I was looking for storage facilities. I was looking for the money. Pete was the one managing the facilities. Like we're super hands-on, okay? And then, uh, so that was last year. Up till last year, we had six facilities. And then this year now we're buying, we're trying to buy one a month. And the reason we can do that is exactly what I just said, delegating, delegating, right? Because the truth is, is that you can't do everything. And when you get into this, you realize that there's a lot to do, right? Now, now you guys are only worried about finding the facility. But the truth of the matter is, is like, in order to buy storage facilities, there's a lot of stuff. You know, you're running a business, right? So we're at the point now where we get to delegate all that off. And we have Bonnie, who's been with us now, like, I think at least five or six or seven years. I can't remember how long. She's been with us a while. She's been managing the storage facility since almost day one with us. Um, and, uh, and she's going to be sticking around. I mean, and then Chris is also the type of person that he's going to be sticking around. But Pete and I are discussing this. How can we make sure that these two people are going to be sticking around? Right? How can we make sure? Because we're devoting so much time and energy to like sharing all of our knowledge on like what we do, you know, internally, like we're vertically integrated. So they all get to see everything that we're doing. But what we want to do is really truly make sure that they stay with us. So what we decided to do was set up for both Bonnie and Chris profit sharing profit sharing. So we are super excited about this too. We do not want Bonnie and Chris to leave us. So we've decided that we are going to share in the profit that we make. I don't know how we're going to set it up yet. Maybe y'all have some suggestions. I don't know. But essentially like, you know, they're going to be making like, you know, Bonnie makes her money and then Chris makes her weekly money, his weekly money. And then Chris also sells facilities and he gets his money. I mean, sorry, uh, finds facilities and gets paid for that. But we want to have some sort of profit sharing is what we want. That way we know that they will not leave. Because what we want to do, me and Pete, what we want to do is leave. We want to leave, right? And actually this year is going to be the last year that we are in Georgia focusing on storage facilities. I mean, we'll still focus on it. But we're gearing up for the entire year next year to travel, all right? We're going to travel the entire year. And so the only way that we can do that is if the people that are on our team feel like they're part of what we're trying to do, which is grow this Miss Lillian self-storage into like this huge, you know, the huge company, but like a big company that's going to have like 20 to 30, you know, storage facilities, right? So, um, so yeah, so we're working on that right now. We're discussing it, trying to come up with ways for us to uh, contribute to what, uh, to what uh, we think will help them to stick around, right? So just a suggestion to you guys as you start growing, and now you kind of see how our path is, right? How our path is. I mean, essentially, we could just, we could just manage these ourselves, sit around and manage them ourselves. But the truth of the matter is, is why would you get into storage investing 
something that could be totally passive and not make it passive, right? And not make it passive. And I just really, I, I say this over and over again, but every single one of the facilities that I've ever bought, um, the owners live right around the corner and get up every day and go manage their facilities, right? And they have one, one facility and that's their life. Who wants that? We do not want that. You are on this webinar to learn how to invest in self-storage. So what your job is, is not only to learn how to invest in it, but also to learn how to run the company so that it's a profitable com company to, to the point where it's completely passive and you can just do, what you, do whatever you want. And at the same time, you can share, in the, share the profits with the people that helped you to grow it, right? Isn't that awesome? I'm so excited about this. And, um, you know, I hope that you guys see what the potential is of what this can become, because um, that's what we see. That's what we see, right? And uh, we're looking forward to it. So Chris is now working with Pete, boots on the ground person, and Pete and Chris is going to help us to maintain our facilities. Uh, and we'll see, you know, we'll see how it goes, you know, um, you're going to travel around, find some storage facilities and manage them. And so he's training, Peach training, and we're actually leaving for a couple of weeks um, and going on a trip. So it's going to be a good test from now until like the, uh, the 17th of June. We're training uh, Chris every single day, Pete's training him. And what I did, which was so awesome, is I told Pete, because Pete, my husband Pete, if you join the coaching program, you'll be able to, to meet Pete. But um, my husband Pete is not good at delegating. He is not good at delegating. He is the type of person that he, it's not that he can think he can do it, that he can do it better. But wait, yeah, it is. He thinks he can do it better, right? He's always like, I'm on the thing. And I'm like, how do you fix this thing? He's like, get out of the way. Let me just do it real fast. Kind of, that's kind of how he is, right? And he's just not good at delegating, right? So what I did is I was like, look, you got to, I was like, you have got to figure out how to get yourself out of this position, 